Greetings ladies and gents, Illusive from Heathen and Sen here and welcome to my channel. Yeah, I know you're probably looking at the hoodie that I'm wearing and thinking, ah, uh, that's not so heathen of you. Um, yeah, not really. I mean, yeah, friends. And um, yeah, both my partner and I are big fans of the Friends TV show. I thought it'd be very fitting for this video. Um, actually, this is hers, not mine, surprisingly, both basically the same size well probably not now because she's pregnant but anyway that's another story so let's get on to the fragrance now this one surprised me a little bit because it came out of nowhere i actually saw this on facebook just the other day someone actually put it on the aussie fragrance lounge and i thought okay this is different so um told my partner about it the next day after work i find that this is on my bed so surprise surprise she got it for me from chemist warehouse and i thought okay i did not expect this that's actually kind of awesome so i mean i got it for obviously two reasons one well we're both big fans of the show and two shits and giggles why not anyway so here's the presentation of it it's got this cover so basically Considering this is a 90s show, it was like originally brought out on VHS, so it was brought out around those times. So if you don't know anything about VHS, I mean, it might give you a good idea about it. I mean, if you're that young, there you go. Um, and it comes in like, you know, like the whole sleeve and everything like that. So, you know, got a nice sort of cover on there, you know, on the spine, you've got the logo, the back, you have got basically, you know, similar type of thing you know you got like a good representation of like the show i guess you know you got the ingredients all that sort of stuff and this is actually brought out by the same company that did the victoria bitter i should say vb fragrance which my mate mark from aussie fragrance did a review on so go check out the card over there for a link to that video awesome guy and awesome video for sure you'll like it so anyway, let's unbox this. So it comes like your normal sort of like VHS type of cover sleeve sort of thing. It looks just like a VHS. It's got like, obviously it's got, the funny thing is though, when you look at it like a VHS, you think, oh, okay, you know, like, yeah, you got like, you know, the whole sort of tape thing. It's got like the nice little label that you normally sort of find on a VHS, but it's upside down, which is kind of weird. Anyway. Um, I couldn't really sort of find much information about this fragrance, but actually like next to none at all. It was only like on Chemist Warehouse. And so that was actually, hopefully I can actually get this open. And like, you know, they just got it on the Chemist Warehouse website, you know, and it costs like, you know, it's like a 75 mil bottle, it costs $20 Australian. It's pretty damn good, you know, for something that's just, you know, pretty much novelty. Um, I can't find a note breakdown for this. I mean, it's got like the ingredients and all that sort of stuff. So I did kind of look into it a bit. So I might have a little bit of idea what we're gonna be talking about here tonight, today, whatever. Anyway, let's open this up and get this going. So this is actually Eau de Parfum Concentration. So no, nothing in the box there, except obviously a plastic sleeve with the bottle there. Nothing too special and everything like that. Pretty sort of standard type bottle. You got, you know, Friends, the television series logo right there. Oh, hey, cool. The photo that they actually show on Chemist Warehouse showed that it actually had the writing Eau de Parfum, as in like an E at the end, which is kind of a little bit, what? But no, they actually spelt it right on the bottle. So that's a good start, definitely. And you got some basic information there at the bottom, nothing special. As I said before, like I couldn't find a note breakdown and all that sort of stuff. So we're pretty much only guessing what we got over here. So I'll give it a bit of a spray and we'll go from there and see what we can smell. I'm really not expecting much from this, but you know what? As I said before, shits and giggles. Okay. Now, my partner told me when she actually uh, was it sprayed it, at Chemist Warehouse, saying that it sort of leaned a little bit more masculine, which I found it kind of weird. I'm like, okay, I thought it might be a little bit more feminine, but we'll go what we've got over here. Okay. 
okay. Hmm, a little bit citrusy. It's more floral. There was one ingredient in there that actually I did recognize, which was uh, lily oil. Now that's actually a aroma chemical that is basically lily of the valley. So you're gonna get like that sort of, you know, floral nuance to it. This doesn't, it's nothing too strong. It is kind of, I don't know, it's like a bit musky powdery, very light floral. Okay. Interesting. Uh, as I said, like, you know, really not expecting too much from something like this. I mean, it is pretty much like a novelty sort of buy, but definitely a great collector's item to have, you know, in the collection. Why not? Okay. It's almost like I'm getting like maybe a bit of, I don't know, like a, something like a, a jasmine in there, maybe. No, it seems very full. Maybe if anything, like maybe there's a a lemon in there or something like that. I know it's got citronella in there, so you're talking about like a citrus type of um, thing going on there. Maybe a lemon. I don't know. This is it's hard to tell to be honest. All right, so this has been my first impression and unboxing for the Friends Odapa Farm fragrance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna you know have like a number of wearings and whatever else, and give like about a week or so, and I'll give a full review for this thing and see how it goes. Maybe if my partner likes it or not, who knows? Anyway, guys, I hope you like what you see and what you hear. If you do, please hit that like button, comment down below. If you've seen this before, if you smelt this before, probably highly unlikely. I don't think I have seen this anywhere outside of Australia for one thing. At least not yet. I'll leave a link in the description below for the Chemist Warehouse link. If you want to buy this, you want to check it out, whatever. I know we've got like lockdowns over here in Australia, unfortunately. So, I mean, I guess it's got to be a bit of a blind buy unless, you know, you quickly sneak into the store and, sort of and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell if you'd like to see more fragrant videos like this coming straight to your feed. I hope you're all doing well. And remember, if you smell good, you feel good. Blessed be to you all, and I'll see you on the next video.